The transmission of The Last Avatar I think is really fun because there's a part in the movie when the main character doesn't know who he is and he gets found by people who do know who he is and then they take him into you know the sacred place where they can um, transmit the information to him of what's going on and who he is and how it all goes. And that's really in interesting to me because I feel like so many people have different paths of finding out their own transmission. It might be a song that really moves you, or you choose to join, you know, a circle of meditation, or you join, you know, you go to Peru and do medicine, you know, whatever, whatever that is. Everyone has their own way of receiving, quote, transmission. And I think the transmission um, in The Last Avatar has to do with understanding one's own true being. Um, like what I was saying earlier around, we are not th these bodies, you know. We are not these, these houses, we are not our bank accounts, we are not our cars, <laughs> we are not our jobs. And so The Last Avatar does a really good job, if you're paying attention, um, of sort of illustrating that in a really poetic way. Um, also bringing in all of the information about the chakra system and the energetic system of all of all beings on the planet. And so I think it's, it's, an, it's an awakening to understanding what's, what's really here instead of seeing such a small little sliver of the dream. It's about perspective. It's about understanding that there is so much more available to us within ourselves. And it's not something we need to go out and find, it's something that's within us. Because when you understand and you, and you sit in that home, in that place of knowingness, you see that everything that you could possibly ever want is all right in this moment. And so the transmission to me is, is really an invitation to knowing yourself.